I would like to show you how to bead a corner. So I didn't I did do a live video where I showed you guys how to bead a corner, but I feel like I was like off the camera the whole time. So I'm gonna try again. Um if you notice this leather is like reaching beyond where this pellet is. So I'm gonna trim that up a little bit. We'll just make everything line up easier, I think. Okay. <coughs> There's my dog. Zeus. Zeus, come here. Come here. All right. He is wound up. He wants to go outside. So here we go. Zeus, it's all right. Let me make a video, dude. I'm going to wax this up. Again, when you guys are beating through leather, beating through cardboard and pollen, make sure you wax your thread up really well because it could snap the thread a lot easier. I'm using this nylon, let's see, Nymo white thread, bonded nylon. Hope that helps. Okay, I'm also using a Glover needle, so it's got a real sharp end on the top. It's also thicker than a regular beading needle. So here we go. Hopefully I'm in the camera this time. I'm doing like six, six beads. Come on, Zeus. Let me make a video. Zeus is my great Pyrenees. He is um, all bark, no bite. He's all big fluffy marshmallow. <laughs> all right, so that kind of matches up on the back. I'm gonna poke it through. Right, as close to that rhinestone banding as possible. And I'm gonna keep going until I'm a little bit farther. And then I'll show you the trick to it. So this can be done on beaded edges like um, powwow regalia that I'm working on. Sometimes graduation caps will have a corner like this. I don't know, what can you guys else think of that would have a sharp corner that you would need to wrap edge? <clears throat> All right. Oops, wait a minute. Let's take a couple of those off. So I'm trying to get it nice and close to this corner and then, oops, see, I'm off the camera again. All right, what I'm trying to do is I am going to make it go like here. So I'm going to try to make like a, a little V. And then I'm just going to fill it in, like almost dovetail it in. And that's not the right spot. So let me put on one more line on this side. And I'm also going to show you guys how to like finish it off. How to, and that's what I forgot to bring over was my lighter. <clears throat> Sorry for the cr throat clearing. I am getting over a nasty cold. Not COVID, but... Just a yucky, yucky cold. All right. This looks right about right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and poke it through on this side. So I'm going to angle it up when I'm coming through. I'm going to angle it over there so my needle pokes out on the other side. Let's do that. Now I'm going to put a line of beads on the other side here. All right, here we go, that should be good. Wrap it around the back. I'm just struggling, you guys, to stay on the camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, let's try that. So this time I'm gonna come up, try and come up in the center there because now what I wanna do, okay, do you guys see that it's like kind of a little V that I wanna fill in? See how this side right now is a little bit longer? I want to make that more even, so I am going to do another round on that end. Normally, I would alternate right side to left side, right side to left side, but I am going to try and even it up a little bit before I start alternating. And hopefully I'm making sense. Okay, sometimes with these Glover needles, the beads are a little too small, so that bead, of course, the first one I put on didn't fit. Let's try that again. I 
I feel like my soundtrack to all my videos is kid's iPad. <laughs> Finger family song. Baby shark song. <laughs> all right. Let's try and come up through the center. All right. Okay, do you see that? Now I'm going to go on the right side. <clears throat> Loading beads on a needle far away from my face is hard. <laughs> All right, so now I'm on the right side, and this is called dovetailing. We are dovetailing this in. Now we're going to poke it through in the center, and we're going to come up the left side. And now when I start getting closer to the center, I'm really not going to need as many beads as I think. So yeah, that was too many. Okay. Up through the center. I'm going to try and keep this video under 15 minutes because once you get past 15 minutes in IGTV videos, you have to use like an outside video making app. And even then I was struggling to upload a over 15 minute video. Oh, no, 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 here's how it went. This is exactly how it went. Okay, so see now I'm only doing three beads. I had to, God, what is he listening to? It's just so distracting, I totally lost my train of thought. Um. <laughs> Um, longer than 15 minute videos to upload it to IGTV it has to be live and you have to save it if it's over 15 minutes it has to be live I have to save it this is just what I found out might I might not be totally correct here but I had to make my last long video it was like a 20 minute video I had to split it in part one and part two because I couldn't figure out this is just like a pre-made video that I recorded I couldn't figure out how to upload it. I was like, why is this not letting me? Well, it's over 15 minutes. So I ended up uploading the full length video to YouTube and then um, two parts on Instagram. So hopefully this stays under 15 minutes. See, there's just that little space. I'm going to try and put one bead on the very tip of it there. Not totally necessary. I might not like how it looks. You can kind of test it out, lay it flat on there, see if you like it or not. I think I do. Okay, so this is technically the last bead. I'm going to poke it in so it's in there. This is where, okay, this is where having that like something on your finger to push that needle through the back really is helpful. All right. Oh, I'm not done. See that gap right there? Let's go fill that in. So I'm going to go underneath these beads so you can't see it, the thread. Okay, we're going to come up through the center there. I'm going to try to make one line of beads work. Uh oh, I'm coming up on nine minutes here. Hopefully I can get through this in five minutes. <laughs> All right, speed beading, let's go. Come on, now they don't want to go on the thread or the needle because I'm rushing. Can't rush bead work. It doesn't work. You'll start to mess up and make mistakes. <laughs> All right, last line of beads. See that fits in there pretty perfectly. So I'm going to come up through the center. And now this is how I end it. Let's see how that looks first. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that corner. So this is how we're going to end it. <clears throat> and it's not totally hidden, but that's all right. So on the back of these wrapped edge, pieces I will just come up through the back try and stay close to the beadwork I will snip my thread I'm gonna take this off so I can tie a knot tie a knot and I am gonna have to leave this video and go get my lighter because I do want to show you guys that part so tighten it 
tighten it. Oh no, I'm already at 10 minutes. Hopefully we can do this. Tighten it. Let's do two knots. Snip the ends. Okay, see how it's the thread is kind of like sticking out right there? I want to singe that down with my lighter. Let me go grab my lighter. Hopefully I can find it real quick. Of course not. Oh yes, I did. I found it immediately. That never happens. This video is meant to be. Okay. So now you have those little threads and this only works with nylon thread. If you're gonna do this with a cotton thread, the cotton thread will just like pff, disintegrate. Nylon thread, you can light it and it kind of melts down and singes and you can tap it with your finger. So that way that knot is pretty inconspicuous and now we have a finished piece. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have any requests for things you don't know how to do, um, Leave me a comment in in the comments here or message me a DM. Talk to you guys later.